A snus museum. Yeah, snus uh, for my American friends. Snus. Yeah. It's stupid. It's stupid either way, to be honest. <laughs> Better stay on your side of the road, baby. <laughs> They're waving at me too. There's a lot of buildings here that we can go into. I want to be. Here we are at Skansen with the pretty stock I'm in the background. It's pretty chill today because it's uh, the weather's a little it's a little rainy, but it's still warm. Um, and they have lots of animals here, not lots of Nordic animals. A lot of uh, old buildings uh, from you know, Sweden's history, like look at this little timber thing thing we got going on over here. We're walking around here, it's a pretty big area. And today they actually have Allsong på Skansen, the first, the first show of the year. <laughs> but they have a big stage where they air live on TV, where they all sing along uh, to Swedish cool. songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they have um, artists performing too. Oh, I see the little Sami, Sami village, or whatever it's called. Sami are basically, Sami are basically Scandinavia's version of Native Americans. They have a little setup here to um, uh, represent them. This is where the Sami village is. Look at the little hut here. It's a hut. Oh, so this is the Sami camp that was used in the spring and the autumn in the early 20th century. That's really cool. They're the nomadic people who hunt and fish. They're outside in these little things. Yeah, they're basically the Native Americans. Native Americans of um, Scandinavia. <laughs> yeah. Supposed to have lynx and no lynx brown bears. Well, I think I've seen two lynx. It's just that they like to hide over here, and I would hide too if I just had a bunch of people watching me all day long. I'd be bored of, out of my mind. Oh, they're on a standstill. You see that? Yeah. Someone's gonna get kicked in the head real soon if you don't back off. Oh fuck! Dumbass. Yeah. See, they don't get along. That's sad to have horses in the same, like, area that don't get along. Yeah, the thing about this place is it's not just a zoo, it's also a museum. So I'm mostly coming in here for the, like, museum part. Because I don't like, I don't love seeing animals in such, um, tiny spaces. It looks big to the human eye, but it's really not compared to the natural environment. environment. Found one wolf, at least. Little one. I like the way they sleep. Yeah, they're so cute. Hello, tiny. Jesus. They're very small, but maybe they're not fully grown. Those little chihuahuas. I love it when they balance little cottages like on rocks like this. It looks so dangerous. <laughs> You remember?
remember how uh, Pad told you that um, a soldier had lived in that summer house? Oh. This is one of those um, other soldier houses. Because they would um, have soldiers living in the house it, yeah. of the farm. And then, like, everyone would come along and pay the soldier for being there. He didn't even always really have a job, but it was a way to, like, have someone who protects everything. So this is one of those houses. So this is from the second half of the 18th century. Well, I'm glad we came here. Because it's nice. It's good. Yeah, it's not, it's not so much a zoo. It's more a museum. That zoo part is quite small. That's why. Otherwise, I would never come here. I'm not the kind of person that goes to the zoo, ever. So this building was actually in the Swedish mountains in Värmland at one point. It's huge. Look at this nice little garden here. But usually, I think that they take the houses from like different parts of Sweden, and then they end up here in the museum. I don't know how the heck they move them, but they do. <laughs> some way, somehow. And then they yeah. recreate these museums. They have one in Västerås too, called Valby. They recreate these museums to teach you about history. And your country's history, and I think that's so awesome. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. A couple seconds ago, I just told her I was doing great. Yeah. And that's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Like this place? Yeah. It's so funny, we just saw four fathers with babies and strollers. And Nick was like, where are the moms? It's like, they're probably working. <laughs> uh, what a concept. Mind blown, huh? So I guess that reindeer that was pre pretty popular with you. Mm. We should have bought two packs. <laughs> this is the little train. I wonder if it's the same train that I went on when I was little with Cardin, my relative. A little baby, a little baby in the middle. I think it's just one with the wildlife here. <laughs> you're not gonna get rid of him. So this is built to represent or show how a Swedish farm, <laughs> okay, I hear you, used to look like back in the olden days. Probably like 100 or 200 years ago. Even older than that, actually. People have lived like this in Sweden for a very long time. I wonder what is in here. There's a little birdie on top there. That's what's making a noise. Hey, little guy or girl. So this is where people used to have their horses and their cows. God, it just smells so good in here. And then they lived over there. And here's what I assume is that it's where they had their... Um, tools and all their things that they needed, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, hello there. They're going nuts right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mom, Mom, sorry. <laughs> I'm safe now. <laughs> Look, here's a church. Oh, from 1730. It was moved to Skansen, so right here, in 1916. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Shit. Let's go here and check it out. How did they even move this thing? I don't understand. 
blows my mind. You strapped in. This church reminds me of like all these like middle age movies I've seen, and they always get made in a church like this. It's crazy. Or medieval, I mean. Wow. Oh, how pretty. It's so dark in here. Oh, look at that field of flowers. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, we're trying to locate food. See, this Gorgeous. is, see here, this is more like where you can buy stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we can buy ice cream and um, candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute little street here. You can buy stuff to eat. Oh, hello, birdie. Oh, uh, that's a real seagull. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> <They're> <laughs> American. <thinking. laughs> Compared to a, yeah. a fake one. <laughs> I'm stealing my waffle. What do you think? So much better than the American waffles. What's the difference? They're not fucking dry. Really? They're, not, they're not super thick. <laughs> they're really crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, very delicious. Whoa, what did you get there? Well, I could have a cheeseburger anytime I want in America, so... <laughs> wow, you just bought the most Swedish meal in the world. I got a Swedish or meatballs. Or in the world, in Sweden. <laughs> Swedish meatballs with gravy, mashed potatoes with a side of lingonberry jam. See, you're eating this the way it's supposed to be eaten. Like, all the other fancy places, they make it too fancy. This is how it's supposed to be eaten. Very, like, comfort, the mashed potatoes, like, comfort food, you know? Yeah. Can you find yourself a beer again? Yeah. What kind? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's organic. <laughs> oh really? Organic beer? Yeah. Oh wow. See if anyone wonders what real love is, it's this. He saved the corner of mashed potatoes for me so they don't touch the meatballs. And then he scraped the gravy off for me because he knows that it's probably got beef juice in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> beef fat. And so I can eat the mashed potatoes. And I it take care of my bear. That's real love. <laughs> <laughs> Crafts, not craft beer. Oh. We're going into Skunsis. Oh, I already see something I already bought before. And you were in up here? When I went to Chicago to my first up here host family, I gave him this book. Cool. Oh my god. You're ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I like these towels. Nice. Good cheese knives. <laughs> Lingonberry jam, of course. Butter knives. Oh, so cute little. <laughs> That's nice. Cool. Get a Swedish one, don't we? <laughs> Moose stuff. Oh, <laughs> Norse gods. Both cool. in Swedish and in English. Wow. That's pretty cool, actually. I would kind of like to have a look like that. <laughs> sure it's pretty expensive, though. Want to check? Probably a dollar. No. No, I can already feel it. It's. Not as nice as I thought, but still it's like a, Yeah, about $30. These are the ones that I've been wanting to buy, these old-fashioned posters. Oh, these are cool. Yeah. They even have these ones with all the months. Ooh, those are black dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Dark horse. Dark horse. Here we have more Christmas, Christmas stuff right here. What? Seriously? Oh, you know what? It's because they're, because they're probably because they're handmade. Hand-painted, hand-carved. I think they are. A bunch of Christmas stuff, but I already have a bunch of Christmas stuff from home. Yeah, they, they, are, they are all different if you look at the details. Mm. That's pretty cool. <gasps> I wonder if this is the fudge that I like. I don't know. These are all like old fashioned candies. So back in the day, There's schnapps. <laughs> oh, God, I've had enough schnapps yeah. for, for this vacation. Oh, I love this. This is like stories about the. Norse mythology. He's cute. Okay, we'll buy that and this little chocolate fudge. Let's go to the stage.
That's the pre-show. You hear it? It's a song with a song in the beginning of the show. That's so cool. That's the um, song that hosts like the host. I hear. Oh my god, we can probably see from here. Let's go. How fun. I've never seen this live. Oh, the station's right here.
<laughs> I wish I knew more. I know, it's fine. We're singing summer, summer, summer. My summer, my summer. Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh shit! Oh my gosh. <laughs> kid took a spill and uh, she just happened to want to film the little pond and, he and fell in. <laughs> my father just ran he's like ah another fun day checked off the list Peace out <laughs> <laughs> 